invite you now to sit upright as is comfortable for your body as we go into prayer and meditation now. And let's take a nice, long, cleansing, deep breath. And as you exhale, just let your body relax. And now mentally scanning your body. This is the phase of prayer and meditation where I refer to as relaxation and sitting comfortably. You scan your whole body now, starting at your feet and moving up the body, just sending the message to every muscle. Relax and let go. Just sending that thought to every muscle. Becoming aware of your feet, relax and let go. Sending that message to your thighs, to your knees. Relax, relax. Sending the message to your abdomen and stomach, to your hips. Relax, relax, relax. Becoming aware of your hands and fingers and letting your hands relax, your fingers be relaxed. Relaxing your forearms your biceps, your shoulders, relaxing your back, upper, middle, lower back, relaxing the muscles in your chest, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, becoming aware of your neck, relaxing the front, the back, the sides of your neck. That's right, good. Let go and relax. So often we can be so busy running around, we lose touch with our body, carrying tension around we're not even aware of. It's good to have a daily practice of getting in touch with our body and consciously letting it relax. Now becoming aware of the muscles in your face, your cheeks, relaxing your jaw, your eyes, your nose, your lips, your tongue, your ears, your scalp, your forehead. Relaxing and letting go and scanning your body now from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. Noticing any place that still needs to relax. Relaxing and letting go. This is your body. And you can relax your body any moment. Just bringing your awareness to your body and noticing where there's tension and Simply letting your body relax. This daily practice of relaxing your body can become a habit so that at any moment during the day you can scan your body and, and simply notice that part of your body and feel it relax. It becomes a skill. And so now we move into the second phase of meditation concentration, beginning to focus the mind. And today we're going to use the breath and we're going to use an affirmation to focus the mind. First, begin to notice the flow of your breathing as it moves in and out of your nasal passages. Feel the breath flowing in and feel the breath flowing out. Not trying to control it, just observing it. Just like you were watching waves on the ocean rolling into the shore and going back out to the sea, you're being the observer now, observing the flow of breath as it moves in and out of your nasal passages. And when your mind starts to wander and think about other stuff, just 
Just bring it back to the breath. Notice the breath. Watch the breath. And now as your breath flows in, let's add an affirmation. As the breath flows in, I am. And as the breath flows out, peace. As the breath flows in, think the words, I am. And as the breath flows out, peace. Again, we're in that phase of concentration, focusing your mind. Jesus said, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So we are concentrating all of our strength, all of our mind, all of our heart on this affirmation and breath. I am on the inhalation, peace on the exhalation. And now taking a nice, long, deep breath. Exhaling, letting go of watching the breath, letting go of the affirmation, the mantra. And now we enter the phase of expansion or realization. And we just rest in the stillness, noticing whatever we might be feeling within ourselves receptive to whatever spirit might reveal to us in the silence. Just quiet and receptive, being with ourselves in the quiet, with God, with our higher nature. In the stillness.
And from this quiet place of receptivity to our higher nature, Spirit of God expressing in and through and as us, we trust now that we have released more of our potential within our consciousness now. And we allow this presence to express through us and in our life. In this quiet time, it can be useful to visualize or to affirm something specific for yourself or others. Seeing yourself healthy and strong, pain-free, mobile, confident, strong, prosperous and successful, loving, patient, kind. Whatever qualities you'd like to see yourself expressing more of, affirming and accepting that this is the truth of you as a spiritual being, as a child of the infinite. And from this place, we know that truth for our friends and family and loved ones. We see them as God sees them, whole and complete. We see them as they can be, expressing their potential of wholeness, of life, of joy, of peace, of strength. And we expand to include everyone on the planet, every person, the earth itself. Imagine and sense that the whole planet Earth is enfolded in this inner well-being, this inner peace that passes all understanding. That love is caressing the Earth, nurturing it, healing it, harmonizing minds and hearts, bodies, the animals, all the life on the planet. And from this place, I invite you to allow the energy to flow through you. I often like to conclude a prayer with rubbing the palms of the hands together. I invite you to join me if you like. Magnetizing the hands and then holding them up. And I like to chant the sound of Om three times, which means Amen. It's a wonderful sound, a Sanskrit word representing the Creator and chanting that sound of Om three times. Om. now back to our bodies, wiggling toes, wiggling fingers, feeling the chair beneath us, the ground beneath us, hearing sounds around us, and letting our eyes adjust to the lighting. Thank you, Father, Mother, God.